Hey, hey. I got like. <laughs> I wanted to say like five minutes. I just finished the Patreon and I was cleaning my. Um... I was cleaning. Cleaning up the board, I hit 10 minutes and it went to 11. I just want to throw you a couple cards, okay? Um, I don't mean to cover the froggies, I'm sorry. I'm going to start using that, so um, no more scratches. I just was placing things on that over and over, so I want to start scrying and... Um, I was telling Patreon, I'm going to kind of start with them. Um, so I, I cleaned it. Um, and I was, I, I thought about purchasing a new one and, um, it, it was like a no because that one's been with my energy for what, three, four years now. So I'm going to deal with the. The scrapes and the scratches and I did just get pulled to rock formations though and then because it pulled me to that and then uh, you guys can't see it but I got this lotus and it is like it's reflecting off of the thing oh my gosh such anxiety guys that was extremely powerful on, on Patreon. Um, but Mingya, yeah. I was hoping to step out of that. All right, YouTube, YouTube, next few days, YouTube. I'll probably be on later. I just wanted to give you a card or two. Service, I feel good when I help others. So you want to help somebody, you have an idea, you want to put something out there, you want to do something. This could be someone around you. We got gratitude. I'm thankful for those. I'm thankful for this in my life and the opportunity that presents itself. And I feel like I was just saying something among those lines. For those who are on Patreon, you understand why I just paused. If you want to join Patreon, the link is below. I have new ideas. I will probably share a video with you once a week so you guys are aware of what I do on it. I just, I absolutely hands down am recreating that, but in a whole different way. There's something else here being created too, though. It takes two to make a thing go right. It's probably a partnership on the horizon it could give you anxiety because I just got anxiety the thought of presenting something is giving you anxiety there's perfection there's all sorts of things here I want to make a really good impression I don't know if you're marketing something you're going there's a business meeting this is work all day with whatever's next this is somebody who feels good being in a leadership type situation but it's also helping right it's like gratitude it's like hey thanks for helping me I'm gonna help you there's hesitation there so there's extreme independence here it could be two people that are extremely independent, but I'm talking like the, the vibe I just got, like so independent, it's like, no, I mean, yeah. You're gonna have to work on accepting help or listening to somebody that has an idea. I think it's exciting. I don't think, maybe travel here. I think it's exciting. This is work. Work, work, work. Oh, you guys always wanted a work read. Here you go. Here's your work read. It's coming in. It's coming in. You're going within. 
this is somebody who's coming in really wants to help you or this is an idea you have you feel good when you serve others like me being a youtuber i feel good so your passion i see wands could be dealing with a fire sign or it's just passion or it's like rejuvenation is lighting a match to the old mingy i don't know what that is this is anxiety though it's like i feel like it's anxiety to present it but then the, I don't know if there's hostility on the other end to accept it. But it's it's your own something you need to work on. It's your own stubbornness. And that stubbornness is strong. So I think you have somebody coming at you who's extremely generous with... I'm going to say money and possibly time. The flip side is the person receiving the offer. But whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be really good. Okay, we're working with threes here. It's a new contract. It's your creativity. Someone could want to recognize who you are. They want to be a team player. Appreciate you. So I don't know what this is referring to, but that is a great sadness. Time to heal. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. That might be the way the hostility is. Something could have went down with somebody in the past and now there's like a new idea, there's a new opportunity. Or it could be like something that just, forget the person, it could just be something from your past that like resurfaces regarding work because this is clearly, we're going to leave this at work. This is a new opportunity coming in. But it, you're extremely hesitant. So to me, it's either somebody you know or you went this route before no it feels like a new route so I don't I don't know what the vibe is I'm picking up on because it feels like a new route and I almost wanted to say rut could get you out of a rut but I feel like you've already gradually taken yourself out of some type of rut it's hostile energy it really is and it, it has to do with your independence and your morals and your integrity. And so I don't know if someone like degraded you or they minimized your work. Like for me, instance, YouTuber, right? There's plenty of non-believers. I don't got time for that either. But to me, it's almost like they do believe in you though. But they probably, I feel pride and ego have a hard time telling you that you're extremely good at what you do. So you have somebody dealing dealing with work. You got somebody dealing with pride. You got somebody else dealing with independence. I, I think it's going to come together and be really good, though. So I don't know what this is regarding. And I said the next few days, but to me, this is thoughts. Because it's, it's, it's heavy in my thoughts. But like here's the thing. I don't know if you're dealing with an overthinker. It's like thinking too much. It's actually fucking up your brain. But I don't think that has to do. I think I don't think that message has to do with work. Because I think you're extremely. Whoever is this idea is extremely focused and excited. And it's a, it's liberating. It's, it's feeling free and not giving a fuck. So I like that. But there's energy here. I think carried by the same exact energy that's overthinking being a pessimist being negative it's that energy of thinking the worst but it's it's like you're thinking so much like the message i'm getting like you're literally thinking so much that it's fucking with your brain it is stopping your growth the amount of thought the and i almost said the amount of funk and it's crazy Real quick, I had a client in the chair. I had a patient in the chair yesterday. And I made a comment and we were dying and laughing. I'm like, was that proper English? Because, I, I don't know, I said something. And his comment was... His comment was... Um, like, who would have thunk? And 
I'm like, is that proper English? He's like, I don't know. We were laughing. I'm like, if anything, like I would have said, who, who would have thought, you know, not who would have thunk, but who would have thought. So I literally Googled the word thunk and it is, it's like a bang. So I don't even know why the fuck that came in, but you know what I loved about it? He's like, I might as well wrap this up. He works for the town. Three people got fired today from the town, and they were all newbies. And the, do you know they have a truck that comes in? They take blood work for drugs, and you have to blow in a breathalyzer. And if you feel the breathalyzer, it's just something they started, well, in the town around here. If you feel the breathalyzer, you're fired. He's like, I passed them both. He's like, I almost drank like a madman last night, but something with his stomach or something so it's like his gut was either telling him or it was something he, he ate you know what I'm saying because he would have got fired but I was like I thought that was great right and we're talking about a job and his service he's serving the town and he, that's like appreciating like he didn't like so it's, it's straightening his life out so this might be something I got goosebumps so this might be something that whole new direction that could help you with, I almost said addictions because we were talking about drugs and drinking. It's, it's, it's a new path. But see, I feel like that energy is excited anyway. I feel like it's, I feel like it's like the other energy where it's like, I don't like so extreme. Oh man. I don't know if you butt heads with this energy or if, if they've already degraded your work or put you in a situation where They made you feel like what you did for work is not up to pa. I, man, I don't know. But as somebody that really respects actually what you do, I think they struggle telling you. It like hurts their pride. That's something they need to work on. Which clearly comes down to surrendering. But you're probably dealing with somebody that feels weak for surrendering but in my eyes that that's strength to own that damn very happy outcome brilliant new ideas that will lead to success have confidence in yourself so whatever this is is a go i don't know how you feel about that but along going on at once needing to make a decision try a more playful approach so this is like coming at you this is like how do i do it how do I go at this? How do I come at this person? How do I market this? What do we do next? I think the two of you can collaborate. This is like an epiphany. Like this is it. We're doing it. Someone figured something out. It's linked to work. Whatever it is is going to be wonderful. It has to. It has to be a new work idea or something. It's coming in because right now it's, a, it's the two of Earth, right? There's just it's a lot going on. Need to make a decision. So, like I said, it's thoughts. Consider a more playful approach. See, it has to do with somebody like overthinking too, but not really overthinking. But it's like, yeah, it's fucking with them. But then there's issues over here too. Whatever side it lays on of strong, strong independence and belief in. It. <sighs> I don't know, so I'm assuming this will come out again. But we got the Queen of Earth. All right, that's a very, um, it's a great energy when it comes to work. Able to deal with challenges. You take a more sensible approach. You make time. This is like making time for those around you. Take an essential approach. Taking, not an essential, but it might be an essential approach for you. But taking a sensible approach, dealing with challenges in a kind of understanding manner. And you got somebody else that needs to make a more playful approach. It's like make the decision. I don't know if you got somebody that's like a perfectionist here, but it's like, that's got to go. There's no need to perfect a situation. Like, I, I get making a good impression, but it's it's eating at you. So, it's like, just go for it is what I'm getting. I just saw like the Nike, just go for it. So, I don't know if it's a brand, you're marketing something, you're branding something, you're coming up with something, you're creating something. It's a new business. It has to do with partnership. There's two people involved. It's a new path, the nine and the one. It's a 10, it's a 1. Looks positive. The message I'm getting is just go for it. 
go for it, put it out there, what do you got to lose? Might be the best decision you made. And, and, and that's on both energies. Go for it. Probably easier said than done. But it's something that's going to grow. It could You could even leave a legacy, so I don't know what that's for dadding. It's like someone will talk about it for years to come. Like someone could be writing a book. Or it's just something that stays. I almost said just something that stays on YouTube, like videos and people just watch it. And like, So I don't know what that is, but it's, it's longevity. It's gonna be legendary. Who sings that? Magic? Dragons? Something that's gonna be legendary. That's your guys' song. I want to say it's Imagine Dragons. What did I say? Dragon, imagine, imagine dragon. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. Something like, it's gonna be legendary. All right, that's your song. I gotta get to work. It could be legendary. Legendary, imagine dragons. Yeah. So go and listen to that because... That's not Imagine Dragons, that's Amy something. So it's not Imagine Dragons. It's Welshly Arm. Wait, Legend of... What? What, what the fuck sings this? Welshly Arms? American Blues Rock Band from Cleveland. Let me just make sure it's the right song. Oh, it is Imagine Dragons. Fuck, man. That's okay. It's, that's your song. Go listen to it. Whatever this is, it's League of Legends, Warriors, Imagine Dragons. That's not even the right song. All right, but leads, League of Legends. Fuck, man. Fuck if I know. You might have to suck it up. I don't know what that's about, but it looks great. Wake up. Love you guys. Have an awesome day. Bye.